Hey everyone, so have you ever read a book that you enjoyed a lot and you got some advice that you were excited about, you tried it for a couple of days and then you never tried it again? Even worse so, have you ever read a book, gotten an advice from it and then continued to give that advice to others even when you didn't try it yourself? Or you tried it for a short period and then decided that, oh, that's a good idea and you kept teaching others to do that. The challenge that we are experiencing these days as a society, as human beings, it's not that we lack information, which was the challenge in the past, but the thing is we have an overabundance of information and we're not always able to choose which is the right information and which is the wrong information. As you might know, this series is called Pressure Testing Life, which means you always have to question what you choose to believe in and what you choose to convey to others. And taking in advice, whether that's from another person or whether that's from a book, always needs to be pressure tested. You always need to see if it works for a while, not just only for a couple of days, and if it works under difficult circumstances. Or in other words, as I like to say, it's easy to be good and do good when things are going well, or otherwise when you're not experiencing resistance or difficult circumstances. But the real thing is whether you're able to apply the methods and you're able to apply the things that you were suggested under difficult circumstances, under circumstances which are not going under your way. But instead of me just telling you what to do and me telling like, this is the right advice for you, in instead of just doing that, I will lead by example and I will show you how I apply this method of pressure testing myself. And the advice and the method that we're going to look at is from a book that I really enjoyed reading lately. It's written by James Clear and called Atomic Habits. Well, I'm not very enthusiastic about the name of the book, a lot of the information that is written there seems to be very good, very smart, tested, but until you test it yourself, you don't know if it works. And the method that we're going to look at is what James Clear calls the two minute rule. The concept of the two minute rule is that if you want to develop a habit, you have to associate positive experiences with it. In other words, if you're going to hate doing something, you will not want to repeat that. And if you're going to enjoy doing something, you're going to be repeating that easily. And in that way, you will naturally develop a new habit. And the whole secret allegedly with this principle, with this method is to commit yourself to doing the thing you want to make into habit for not more than two minutes every day. And the concept behind it is quite good because theoretically to do something for less than two minutes, it's not difficult, whatever thing that may be. And the deal with this method is that if you enjoy doing it, you can also continue to do it more and you can expand it to greater lengths, but you, you have to commit to doing it not more than two minutes, which makes it feel like a positive experience. And then you don't associate negative experiences with it and that gives you a chance to do it again the next day. Now, whether this method is real or not, whether it works or not, while it sounds great, we will still pressure test it. And for the next 10 days, I will commit to doing jogging, not more than two minutes every day. And if I will feel like it, I will expand to doing more. Now, whether this method will stick with me for 10 days or not, we'll see in the video right now. So this is day one of pressure testing the two minute principle and I have my buddy here with me today. We're gonna do it together. I'm gonna set up my phone. We have to run no more than two minutes and then we'll see if we'll keep going from there. So let's not waste any more time and get going. So we ended up running not such a bad time. It's eight minutes, so four times more than planned and uh, eight times more than people who don't run at all. Uh, also, I have to say that we ran on a pretty intense tempo, so it wasn't just light jogging. I did lose my breath a bit. Could have ran more and part of me felt like it, but I also wanted to respect the pressure testing and only run until I really felt inspired. By the end, when I started to feel a bit tired, I realized let's still make it enjoyable so that the next day we could still do it again. The last thing I wanted to say is we have to acknowledge the day is beautiful today. It's a Saturday, I could sleep in. So it's not much of a pressure testing as much as just testing because on such a day, it's not that difficult to run comparatively. But still, if I wouldn't have set out for those less than two minutes, probably I wouldn't have jogged at all. And now I ended up jogging for at least eight minutes and I'm even tempted to do it again today. So we'll see where that leads. But if I won't see you today again, then I'll see you in the next day. So today is day two of testing out the two minute uh, jogging principle habit. The weather is pretty good, but today is Sunday, so I'm not as inspired to run. But knowing that it's only two minutes that I will have to run, 
I just feel it's easy. So I'm gonna do it and we'll see if it will expand into a longer jog. I have my buddy again together with me. And also it's the Independence Day of Lithuania and I'm the capital of Vilnius. So probably we'll see something cool as we run. So let's get going. So we ended up running for about eight minutes again, but the tempo was pretty intense again. Today, I, again, I didn't feel as inspired to run around half of halfway of the running. I felt my body was saying, "Well, maybe let's not do this again." But still, because two minutes running, the job definitely got me out of bed, definitely got me running, and I still feel good that I did that. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. So we ended up running 20 minutes and uh, everything started from the fact that I woke up energetic, feeling like I do want to run and knowing that I only have to run for not longer than two minutes, it definitely kicked me out of my bed. When I started running, I, feel, I felt like, yeah, I'm enjoying this. And I ran for as long and pretty intensively until I felt, okay, I'm starting to run out of energy. And I figured it's a good time to start to circle back because uh, that's kind of the sign that, you know, I still will have to make my way back. So I want to make sure that that positive impression of running, that positive feeling is ingrained primarily. It turns out I ran quite far. So by the time I circled back, it took a while. So, uh, but I still felt good. I felt like, okay, I'm running towards my home. I'm running to rest. So it feels all good. So yeah, basically one more proof that the system works and the weather is not ideal. It's not raining, but it's not sunshine. So can't blame it on the weather, but can't say it's supported either. So, so far the results are good. So today I didn't feel uh, as inspired to run. I guess maybe it's because I ran for longer yesterday than usually, or maybe it's because uh, today it was raining, or maybe it's because it's the fourth day in a row and, you know, technically I should kind of take a break, a rest in between. I think that would be an intelligent thing to do, but uh, since I committed to doing 10 days, I will continue through. But nevertheless, still, I ended up, the sun came out right now. It wasn't shining as I was running. Now, yeah, today I ran for 10 minutes. That's actually still better than day one or day two, uh, even though I didn't feel ins as inspired to run. But again, knowing that it's only two minutes got me out to run. And by the end, well, in the beginning, I was more struggling. I was like, okay, I just need to do this. By minute seven, minute eight, I was like, actually, you know what? I'm trying to enjoy this. This actually feels good. And I finished in a good mood. So it's another victory. That's last night I did jiu-jitsu after a break and my body's pretty tired, uh, but I did have a good night's sleep. And, and uh, yeah, so I'm actually feeling pretty good. So despite the body being tired, you'll see how long I will run today. The weather's beautiful. Today is the sixth day of pressure testing the two minute principle in jogging. But as you see, I am not outside, unfortunately, I am in my bed. And that's because I caught a cold, not a very heavy one, and I'm treating it well with lots of supplements and everything I can. But also, too, let's admit it, I was running outside with fairly light clothes at fairly cold weather. That probably was the case why I got sick, but I want to make sure that I don't make it worse. So today I will skip one day of jogging and we will see if I feel better tomorrow and if I can restart. And we will also pressure test what it's like to come back to that principle of two minute jogging and whether that's going to be effective. So now let's get some rest and we'll see what happens the next day. So this is day eight of doing the two minute jogging challenge and pressure testing. And I am in city center of beautiful Dublin here today to film the huge Bellator event. But aside from that, it's been a couple of days that I spent resting. I'm still a little bit sick, I still have a bit of a sore throat, but I'm not that bad. And despite the fact that I woke up today super early at 4 a.m., I had two flights, I still realize I need to keep going with my commitment. And now again, what I know is just two minutes that I need to run, it's easy to do. Even I skipped a couple of days, I had this intense day today. And despite the fact that I'm not wearing my sport clothes and you know this is an unfamiliar city uh, my shoes are not fit for running i decided i still need to get the habit going and i'll just run for two minutes just towards my place where i will live so let's do that and put a check for another day i'm 
day nine. So almost coming to the very end of the pressure testing. Again, a good chance to pressure test the traveling. I haven't slept that much, but I feel pretty good. And not the right clothes, unknown location, but why would I stop from jogging for two minutes and stopping my habit? So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll continue to do it tomorrow, obviously. See you then. So this is the last day of the 10. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm still in Dublin. It's 4.40 a.m. I'm going to my bus to the airport. I was slept all night, but I have a very good day. And I thought I still haven't ran my two minutes. So as I'm going to the bus, I decided to keep the habit going. And as always, it's the same tune. Two minutes, not a big deal. I can run for two minutes. So let's do some jogging. So looking back at all the 10 days of jogging and a couple of days of skipping jogging because of being sick, I consider that the method worked really well. But the thing with pressure testing and questioning is, you shouldn't just believe in it just because I did it and I say it works. Maybe it worked for me, maybe it will not work for you. Of course, the fact that it worked for me, there is a bigger chance that it will work for others too. But what I recommend is not just believing in me just because I said it or I showed it, but try it yourself. Apply the same method of pressure testing, either with this method or with any method that you're suggested or you read about. Don't take it just as truth and don't think it works just because it worked for two days. See if it works for a longer period, see if it works under difficult circumstances, and if it does, then you can put some faith in it. As even the Buddha said, don't believe in me, always test the things out. So let me know in the comments whether this method worked for you or not, whether you're willing and interested to try it out for yourself, and how does the whole principle of pressure testing apply to your life? And if you're interested to see more pressure testing methods, either check out the video series before in the links below and around the video, and also subscribe for the next video where we're going to pressure test the fears that personally I have and hopefully will inspire to pressure test your fears too.